Hi everyone, Eric here with a review on the X31 Mini Folding Drone. I'll do an unboxing and then I'll show you how this thing flies outside. And if you do have any questions, just leave them in the comments down below. Uh, if you do like this one, I included a link in the description down below where you can pick one up. Okay, so it is a 2.4 gigahertz transmitter, so you definitely can fly this thing outside. Uh, what's really cool about this one is it has its own little housing that protects the drone. So you pop it out here, and then you pop out all four arms, and then they click in place. And the battery is not replaceable on this one. You, it is going to come with a uh, USB power charger. So you want to find any powered USB port. Comes with four extra blades. And then you plug it in right here in the back. Now when you turn this thing on, the LEDs are really bright on this thing. You have the two uh, LEDs in the front and then you have a really bright LED in the back. So it does have a six axis gyro, which is very standard for these quadcopters. Uh, it can do flips. It has a return home, headless mode, and it does come in either white or black. The X31 foldable drone handles like a larger quadcopter without the twitchy feeling that a lot of other nano quadcopters have. In a slow setting, I think beginner flyers will really like the handling of this quad. Switch the X31 to fast mode and this thing can get going fast. Even with 5 mile per hour winds, the X31 was very stable and easy to control outside. The frame of the X31 feels very durable even with the foldable arms. And I've noticed the arms tucking in after a crash which helps reduce damage. Even if the arms are not all the way extended, this drone can actually still fly as long as the blades are not touching. Range was around 60 feet before it started to lose reception, which is fine because any more than that and it's impossible to see what direction this quadcopter is pointed. The battery is a built-in 110 milliamp hour LiPo, which is going to give you around 5 minutes of flight time. You'll know when it's running low when the bright LEDs start flashing. Flips can be performed really easily with just the press of the top button and the flick of the stick in the direction you want to flip in. And the X31 will do the rest. The LEDs look really cool. They are brighter than most other quadcopters and in a dimly lit room will cast blue and red light all over the place. Okay, in your control, you have your accelerator. So this is your throttle. And then you have your yaw, which is going to spin your quadcopter. And then you have the standard forward, reverse, left and right. And then your trim is gonna be all right here. So you have your trim side to side forward and back. And then over here, this keypad is for your headless mode. And if you do have the version with the camera, um, it will also take photos and uh, video. So right here, this one doesn't have the uh, camera. So these two controls are not going to do anything. Um, but the top and the bottom are going to be your headless mode. So if you want to put it in headless mode, hold this down, it's going to start beeping. Now it's in headless mode to turn it off. Just press that again. And then up top, this is where you can control your speed. Press it down once and you're in fast. Press it down again and you're in slow. Over here, this is how you control your flips. So press it down. It's going to keep beeping until you do a flip in the direction you want to do a flip in and it'll stop beeping. And just remember, when you guys turn on your quadcopter, always have it on a flat level surface. So I'm going to turn on my control, flip my, control, uh, flip my quadcopter on, and then go ahead and bring the throttle all the way up and down and now it's ready to go. And that's my review on the Mini X31 folding quadcopter. If you guys found the video helpful, I always appreciate those thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with my future reviews. Thank you so much for watching.